Alright guys, I just listened to the new Lil Uzi song and bro, it is not looking good for Uzi. First of all, Playboy Cardi just dissed him on a story which is super random or at least everyone thinks it's a diss and I kind of think it's a diss. Like, I mean, you know, Uzi drops a new song, you post this on your story, like, okay, we know what you're doing, you know that we know what you're doing. It may not be directly at Uzi, but I feel like people know. But anyways, let's get into the topic of this video. Is Lil Uzi Vert washed up? And I'm not gonna lie, I've seen some jokes about this on Twitter, you know, people are like, he's losing his aura, oh my god, he lost the four letter word. I don't really care, you know, you don't need to look like he's not a bum or anything, all right? He's still like a multi-millionaire. He's, he's doing fine. He, Pink Tape sold 160k. He's still he still got it. But his music is just not hitting the same. And I'm not going to lie, it's been very hard for me to like hear Lil Uzi songs, especially the new stuff that he dropped. Earlier this year, he dropped a song called NFL and it, it just wasn't that good. Like it was just all right. And now he just dropped the song Red Moon, which was him trying to like um, you know, tap in with the new like not the old he was trying to tap in not with the new the old love is love is rage 2 sound and he was trying to have like this emo rap sound to it and everyone was just like yeah this is mid this is, this is mid this isn't that good and this has kind of been the theme for uzi's music for a long time people just haven't been wanting to tune in it's been almost a day and his song hasn't even reached a million views, which is crazy. There are artists a lot smaller than him that do that or that have a lot weaker fan bases do that do that. Obviously, this was a surprise drop. I get it. But Lil Uzi is like one of the he's one of those artists that you ask any young kid who listens to rap and they all love Lil Uzi. No one dislikes Lil Uzi. Find me someone that dislikes Lil Uzi. They're probably like some psycho stan of some other rapper just like weird like you can't really hate Lil Uzi. He hasn't really done anything or maybe they're very Christian. I don't know. Lil Uzi is very loved by people. So the reason why people aren't tuning into the new music isn't because they don't like him. It's purely because the music isn't that good and Red Moon wasn't that good. Of course, he just randomly dropped a single while there's no hype for his upcoming project. There's a little bit and Playboy Cardi is doing his rollout. So of course, that takes a lot of the eyes off of him and people aren't really looking like if he had done this just before Playboy Cardi had done his rollout or maybe after like a couple months after people would have been like, oh, Uzi dropped. But now it's just like, all right, he dropped, right? And this is probably also why Playboy Cardi quote unquote dissed him on his Instagram story. I'm sure they're like friends or whatever. They have a really weird relationship now that I think of it. But um, I don't really care about that. Um, the thing that's kind of sad about this Lil Uzi fall off or whatever you want to call it, just his music slowly declining because I wouldn't really say he's fall, fallen off. Pink Tape was just a step down from Eternal Take. It wasn't that good. There were some good songs, but there's a lot of like songs that I thought were really bad. And it's like, why would you put them on this album? It didn't have any direction or like it just didn't feel like a cohesive album and the whole idea of pink tape like i thought pink would be like i thought it would be like really fun lil uzi kind of like how that song pluto to mars sounded like or some other song but it was just it was like a half rock half uzi type rap album just wasn't really my thing and wasn't most people's things and most of uzi's songs recently have just been like whatever he's not able to find out what he's gonna he doesn't really know what he's gonna do there's this clip with him and DJ Academics. I will play it for you right after this. Cause I don't think you would want to answer shit. It's and pointless to. It's pointless to answer, bro. Bro, I've been selling records, right? And it's not about that either. But I'm just talking about I've been. I've been selling records without anyone knowing anything about me. Where he speaks on how tough it is for him to make new music, and he said he's in the music, he's in the studio every day, just grinding, trying for his fans, but he's not able to. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, the reason why this hurts is because like Lil Uzi was one of those rappers we all listened to when, I, at least I did when I was young. He was one of the first rappers that was like, oh, this dude's hard. Like, even though I think, I'm pretty sure I found out about him when X the Tour Life dropped. I was like 12 when X the Tour Life dropped. It's been like set or 11 or 12, something like that. It's been like seven or eight years. And now it's like, damn, this guy, like I've really seen, and he's had a long career. I've really seen him like burst to the top of the scene and like stay there for a while. And now he's slowly going down and just like, I guess th there's gonna be like a new generation of rappers that do this i don't know where they're at like the ones that are supposed to be there like osama sun stuff they're just too inspired by cardi and uzi it just it doesn't make sense but you know like Lil Uzi falling off just kind of like strikes a chord in me. I don't know. It's just it's just weird. It's just weird seeing him fall off and stuff. By the way, he hasn't really fallen off. He could drop another album like next the year after next year. Like I don't think he'll drop 2024, probably 2025. And he could just prove everybody wrong, which I think he can do. You know what I mean? Because Pink Tape only sold 160K because he didn't drop that good of an album. But it had the hype to sell 200, 200 something K, which is still superstardom 
numbers for rap and i think he could sell somewhere around there 2025 it's just it's just really hard to replicate what he did before and he he's not as careful and as crazy about his image like playboy cardi cardi after he did what he did on whole lot of red because before that he wasn't mysterious i don't know if you guys are like new fans or anything cardi wasn't always like that he used to post he was a perfectly normal person he just used to post hard fit pics and he like turned into this mysterious being that posts two times a year and drops music once every three years and it's just really good and everyone's like oh cardi once he realized he could do that with whole lot of red he immediately replicated it Lil uzi he did a really good job promoting eternal take he did an insane job i feel like everyone remembers when eternal take dropped i was actually uh gonna listen to it but then i had pe so i couldn't have my phone it was freshman year of high school and then my friend was like yo Lil uzi dropped i think some kid was trying to like smuggle his phone into pe but uh our shorts didn't have a uh, pockets in them so and then afterwards i listened to it and i was like oh that's, that's all right it's pretty good and then you know that was just like a moment everyone was like yo eternal take this is so big and then we hit quarantine and then he couldn't tour it but it just became very memorable i don't know if quarantine helped it or hurt it but everyone just remembers that um pink tape it's already been forgotten and everyone has already agreed that it's just not that great ever since then Lil Uzi's music just hasn't been hitting and it's not like he's not capable of making good music but I'm talking about the stuff he's been dropping it just he just doesn't know what to drop or what direction to take his music in for example that song NFL he dropped was like on a yeet type B and it was like very happy and it had like a oh, like I don't even know how to replicate the flow it wasn't like super catchy or anything it's not something you listen to more than like once I think I listened to half the song I was like all right, all right this isn't really like that good same thing with Red Moon. I actually listened to it a couple more times because people were reposting on Twitter saying, oh my god, I'm so excited for Love is Rage 3. No, you're not. That song is not that good. And I'm saying this as a, a, as a big Uzi fan. It's all right. It's just not that good. And Lil Uzi Vert, when he used to drop a random track back in like 2016, let's talk about like Buy It or something. Buy It was a completely random track. That song was so hard and everyone was like, damn, this guy, like he would, he would just drop random stuff on SoundCloud and it would just hit. He was that, I mean, he was, I'm not, you know, I'm starting to, I'm starting to glaze the old Uzi, but he was just really good. Everyone agrees that, agrees on that. My bad for the grammar. So to kind of like end off this video, is Lil Uzi washed? Not yet, but uh, he's, he's like washing up to the shore. If that's, if you can like imagine that, I don't know if you've ever been to the beach, but there'll be like a seashell and it'll wash up to the shore, then it'll wash back and then it'll wash up again. And it'll go a little further. So like, he's like kind of wash. He's like, he's like not washed up, but it's not looking good either. Anyways, um, that's all I really have to say. I feel like this was a very honest video. You know, I'm just gave my random thoughts. Uh, I went a little off topic like three times in the video, but you know, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. I hope you have a great day and everything. Hope you had a, a great Christmas. I did. I don't know when this video is going to drop. It might drop in like the beginning of January and you guys are probably thinking, what? But it's the day after Christmas for me right now. So anyways, see ya. Yo, that's the new Cardi. Okay, shut up, shut up. All right, bye, bye. See you guys. <laughs>